It's a mansion laced with gold. I'm Stacey Elgin. Coming up on Home and Style, we'll take you inside this beautiful home and I'll introduce you to the builder behind this gorgeous masterpiece. Want to save money on your utility bills? Now you can get beautiful replacement windows that add beauty and help you save money each month. We'll show you all your choices for new windows. And meet a woman who's had a dramatic smile makeover. Suzanne Rudisell can't stop smiling since she had cosmetic dentistry. You'll see what's involved in these types of makeovers. Plus see a new treatment for rosacea that can also give your skin a lift. Meet a woman who's tried photo facial and find out how it works. Then we'll take you to beautiful Laguna Beach, California. All that is coming up here on Home and Style. I'm Donna Davis. Thanks for joining us. We have the opportunity to tour some of the most beautiful homes around, but the one you're about to see is especially captivating. This incredible mansion has it all. The builder on this was amazing, finishing it in just 10 months. Stacy Eldon takes us for a tour. This French-style Normandy home is grand on the outside and luxuriously detailed on the inside. From the winding staircase that looks down to intricate mosaic tiles to the elegant crown molding, this mansion is unlike any other. For custom home builder Steve West, who is used to building masterpieces, this one was the most challenging of his career. This home was not simple. It wasn't simple to build, but it, it was a challenge, but I had a ball. That's what makes my blood flow. Steve was put to the test by the homeowner who not only wanted an unconventional design, but he also wanted to see his dream home come to life very quickly. I would have never thought that we would have finished this thing in, in, in 10 months. Now, you know, you see what's here, but that's what happened. In just 10 months, Steve built a home inspired by luxurious hotels from the commercial look of its elevator to the unique bedroom suites. The entire project offered Steve a chance to use his creative abilities. Follow up details. This homeowner allowed me certainly to spread my wings and be creative. His vision was even more grand than mine. To work with someone like that was fascinating, a lot of fun. The homeowner's passion for gold influenced a lot of the design and details of the house, such as the high ceiling gold dome in the foyer. The homeowner likes gold. gold. The gold detail, to capture a customer's vision and, and the detail that they want in their home. I don't think every builder is able to do that. This staircase was by far the most challenging aspect of the design. It was a fascinating challenge. I, I'm not going to say no unless it's, it, I'm going to give it a shot. Structurally, it's one of the most interesting staircases I've ever built or even ever seen. Wow, beautiful white kitchen. The kitchen is light and open. The kitchen is the new living room of the house. The kitchen, uh, the informal living area, the breakfast area, how open it is. It took a lot of steel beams to, to do that. The keeping room is designed around this grand 30-foot antique fireplace. My homeowner would find uh, an antique somewhere and he would say, you know, I like that. I want, Steve, can we put that in the house somewhere? I want that in the, in the, uh, in the keeping room. Okay, we bought it, we brought it over here, we made the keeping work. Uh, we designed it around that mantle. The traditional dining room is classic with its beautiful crown molding and Venetian plaster walls. Put, put Venetian plaster in because you can touch the walls, there's no fingerprints, there's no, it wears very well and it's very, very tasteful. One of Steve's favorite rooms is this private office where the walls are made of solid mahogany. This is the most detailed room in the house, door to see the solid mahogany. It has a polished finish to it. So the owner was stressing for perfection in the and he got it. The master suite is pure elegance. It's got a really interesting ceiling. It's 35 feet tall. People like to relax in the bedroom other than just laying in the bed. There's couches in there and TV. There's a living room that you have to sleep in. The owner liked the gold fixtures or the mosaic inlay tiles, all handmade. We put that in the shower and around the tub. This winding staircase takes you to the terrace level where you'll find a billiard room, wine cellar, a gym, a spa, and even a salon. We wanted the salon to have to have some conversation interest. We did a water jet zebra inlay pattern in the floor done out of ebony black marble and statuary white. For Steve, who loves bringing his customer's vision to life, this home was a wonderful and rewarding experience. I've learned more building this house than any house I've ever built. You have to have a vision as to, as to where you're, you're going. And once you see that vision, you can't get enough. 
You can't get it out of your mind. You can't stop until you have finished creating what you're, what you're seeing. The interior design on the home was done by Black Sheep Interiors. For more information on the home, visit stephenwestcustomhomes.com. The windows in your home make a big difference in how it looks and how you feel. You can improve the interior design of your home and start feeling more comfortable with replacement windows. We'll show you how easy it is right after this. Sunlight is fading and the cold rain sets in When I wake up in the morning It starts all over again Looking for some shelter Don't want to be in the way Hoping that we might meet one fine day If you let me come home They do not have to die, but they do. 25,000 children every day. They die for reasons we can prevent. Like not getting enough food or medicine. Or clean, safe water to drink. They do not have to die. But they do. 25,000 children. 25,000 children. 25,000 children every day. They die because they are young and vulnerable. They die because through no fault of their own, they're poor. They die because they suffer in the shadows. Their pain unseen by the rest of the world. They do not have to die. They don't have to die. But they do. 25,000 children. 25,000 children. Every day. My name is Joel Madden. My name is Mia Farrow. My name is Neil. My name is Lawrence Fishburne, and I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Believe. My name is Lucy Liu, and I believe that number should be zero. Believe in zero. Join the effort. Visit IBelieveInZero.org. Getting new windows for your house might seem like a big undertaking, but it's an investment that can start paying off right away. Today's windows are much more energy efficient, so you can expect to save money while at the same time enjoying the look of your new windows. Love the size of the windows. They're a little oversized. Uh, they give us great light. Um, it, it gives you just a warm feeling in, throughout the house. Gary Thompson says when he found this home, it was exactly what he was looking for, well-built and spacious. He says the builder chose only the best products. He had actually not cut any corners and had gone to a great length to put quality windows and doors in this house throughout. The builder, Peter Caramanalis, wanted to create the look of a traditional home, yet use all the latest technology. These windows are energy efficient without compromising on the architecture and the look of the window. Uh, this home that we are that we are sitting here today is, is a Georgian uh, design. Peter carefully searched for the right company to provide this home with high quality windows and doors. Finally we ended up uh, uh, investigating Colby windows and doors and that's how we got with premium and premium window and door and uh, the uh, people were great to, uh, to deal with. Greg Bowen of Premium Window and Door showed us how these new energy efficient windows work. First of all, you'll notice they don't look like traditional windows. There's no metal. Well, one of the really nice things about the Sterling Double Hung is you'll notice inside the jam here on all window units, you'll have a, a vinyl or plastic jam track or metal jam track. So, you know, from a you know cosmetic standpoint, from decorating, it's always an issue. Everything about your window can be custom from the size of the bar to the finish. We have multiple hardware finishes, uh, different colors again to match the decor of the house. Next you'll see how easily they pull out. Another nice thing about this window is it comes with an easy tilt lock mechanism where literally you just push this latch in with your thumb 
It tilts right down for easy cleaning. Yeah. And notice how they lock in place. Interlocking check rail here and under here. It actually interlocks when the window is closed. It's the glass and the interlocking system that make these windows so energy efficient. Windows today versus 10 or 15 years ago, there's just no comparison. Bowen says Colby is an industry leader when it comes to energy efficiency. In 1992, they saw what was changing in the industry, and the owners of Colby changed their entire product line over to low-E insulated glass. They also added argon gas in between the panes to even add to the energy efficiency of the windows. You know, you have low E square, low E three, soft coat, hard coat. I mean, you can just talk about just the glass portion of the window for, you know, it gets on and on about the innovation in the glass alone. In fact, today's windows from Colby are amazing when it comes to insulation. Bowen showed us how you can put your hand right next to the window and you don't feel cold air at all. Thompson says he's already felt the savings. We had a home that did not have this quality of windows and you could feel the heat loss. Thompson says his energy bills are not as high in this home as they were in his previous house, yet this home is larger. And having more energy efficient windows means he can have even more of them. The more energy efficient your glass is, your windows and doors are, the more glass you're allowed to have. If you really want to have the flexibility of architectural design and you want to um, just have options in general with windows and doors. The more energy efficient they are, the more options you're going to have. Bowen says that's why today you'll see so many rooms with windows all around. People want to enjoy the views and having better windows enables you to do so. The sunroom is one of our favorite rooms because of the windows and it allows you, particularly in the summer, to have a feeling of being in a forest right here in the city. The beauty of large windows and the advancements in energy efficiency are what's driving many homeowners to replace older windows. One of the, the fastest growing portions of our business is window replacement. Bowen says homeowners can replace just the glass and pane or the entire window. Uh, you can remove your existing sash, replace it with a new sash kit without interfering with the integrity of the exterior of your house. A beautiful smile can make all the difference in a woman's confidence. Up next, meet a woman who feels better than ever after getting her smile makeover. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It takes a man to be a dad. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Dad, did you ever do drugs? Uh, uh well, uh, um, yeah, I did, and it was a dumb thing to do. But no one ever talked to me about it. My dad never talked to me about it. Talking to your kids about drugs can be tough. Need help? Get help. Visit our website at drugfree.org. The medical and dental services we take for granted in the United States are treasured in places like Kenya. That's why the villagers depend on Kenya Medical Outreach, a mission of hope and healing. Kenya Medical Outreach, led by Atlanta dentist Dr. Bill Williams, offers much needed medical and dental services while spreading Christianity. Dr. Williams received the coveted 2007 Ron Lamb Award for creating the outreach. To support this meaningful mission, which has helped thousands of people, visit KenyaMO.com and find out more. There's a frightening new kind of drug abuse creeping into our neighborhoods. It's already bigger with teens than ecstasy, meth, and heroin combined. And it can be just as dangerous. So who's supplying your kids? You are. Prescription drugs, ordinary cough remedies, used as directed, it's medicine. Intentionally abused, it's a free high. Talk to your kids. Learn how at drugfree.org. Welcome back to our image and beauty segment. Cosmetic dentistry is advancing every day. Now anyone can have the smile they've always wanted. We met Suzanne Rudisil shortly after her smile makeover. 
world-renowned dentist Dr. Thomas Oppenheim replaced old crowns and gave her an entirely new smile. Suzanne Rudisil is on her way to the dentist and this time she's not at all nervous. I have had a uh, horrific dental history from childhood. Now Suzanne has an entirely new view of dentistry. She's here at the office of Dr. Thomas Oppenheim for a follow-up visit concerning her recent smile makeover. Since I've had this done, I'm smiling like an idiot. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm walking around campus like, hi. The dental makeover that took her smile from fair to fantastic involved 15 crowns, all meticulously shaped to fit her look and her face. I wanted to make those teeth sleek, more delicate, softer, and more feminine. Suzanne has had numerous crowns over the years, and before her smile makeover, she was having problems. Her two front teeth had a gap, and she felt they were too large. She was also self-conscious about the discoloration, and she had discomfort. Um, when you have old crowns that are gapping and discoloring, and, you know, the bite is off, and you just... I'm very self-critical and very aware of it. You're self-conscious. Suzanne's career requires her to be up in front of people giving presentations and lectures, so her teeth were actually affecting her work performance. So I got in the habit of not smiling. And it wasn't just the cosmetic issues that bothered Suzanne. The older crowns were causing problems with her gums. The aesthetics are important to me, uh, but also my general oral health because I think that's really critical to your all-over health. So after getting a referral from her periodontist, Suzanne came here to Dr. Oppenheim. Dr. Oppenheim assured Suzanne this would be her last stop in her search for a beautiful smile and a healthy mouth. I really, really wanted to make this count and make this the end of uh, Suzanne's quest for, for a great smile. From the minute Suzanne walked in the office and met Dr. Oppenheim, her fear of the dentist and her anxiousness about getting everything right began to ease. He was very confident and I was instantly sure he knew what I was doing. Then the staff treat you like uh, family. They're really sweet. I really do. This It's not cliche. I really treat every body like they were my own family, and that's just the guidelines that I use for treatment plan everybody, the guidelines I use for when I'm finished. You know, I'm not finished when a certain amount of time passes. I'm finished when I know that we're within that range of excellence and beauty. Despite her confidence in Dr. Oppenheim and the staff, Suzanne remembered painful trips to the dentist when she was growing up, so she was nervous about the first procedure. Uh, Suzanne uh, preferred to be sedated uh, when we um, for her first appointment and it went real well. In this case, once you know Dr. Oppenheim and his staff, you know you won't need it because it's, it's just a relaxing atmosphere and that makes a big difference. Dr. Oppenheim knew the case would be challenging. One of the most challenging things, believe it or not, is, is uh, going in someone's mouth after something has already been redone because there's a lot of things that have been irreversibly altered already that I can't really change. Dr. Oppenheim doesn't use a one-size-fits-all approach either. He carefully studies the face. He says the crowns she had were incongruent with her features. The eye is always drawn to something that's just out of proportion or different. Dr. Oppenheim's challenge was to create the perfect teeth for Suzanne's face. It's just real critical that we, you know, we select the teeth, the alignment, the proportion uh, of those teeth, and uh, angle them properly, beginning with those two front teeth. When all of Suzanne's 15 crowns were in place and everything was complete, she and Dr. Oppenheim were thrilled with the results. It's just, just awesome. You know, when Suzanne smiles now, she just lights up. Her eyes just glisten, and you can see that, that, that joy from within coming out. I had a waiter come up to me in a restaurant um, a couple weeks ago and he said, you have beautiful teeth. He's a kid, he's like, I don't know, 19. And, and it was so amusing to me. I said, well, thank you. I said, you can too. <laughs> and uh, it's worth um, getting it done right. It was exhilarating. It's the only, only way I can describe it because I knew you just know it's in your heart that uh, when your patient 
feels in their heart that they have what you find what they finally sought out for their smile. Uh, you know, they say uh, for people who are thinking about doing some kind of uh, surgery or I don't know, facelift or whatever, cosmetic surgery, to really make sure, you know, you don't think this is going to change your life radically because it won't. Um, I would say that this does. If you've ever struggled with redness in your skin, you may want to think about photofacial. It's a process that helps remove the redness and it can stimulate collagen as well. Sharon Smith is one of thousands of people who battle rosacea, or reddening of the skin. It was primarily in my cheek area yeah. around my nose. Um, particularly in the summertime. Sharon turned to IA Medical Spa for help, and after a consultation with esthetician Erin McLean, she began to consider photofacial RF, along with Obagi skincare products. It will treat the skin and as far as redness and broken capillaries and facial veins. When Sharon checked out IA, she was pleased with what she found. I was impressed when I read the literature that uh, it's a med spa under Atlanta Plastic Surgery, one of the oldest plastic surgery practices in Atlanta. That, that says a lot to me. I would not entrust my skin to just anybody, particularly if I was going to have a laser uh, treatment. Photofacial uses intense light pulses combined with radio frequency to pull the redness out of the skin. It creates a lot of heat and then the pigment lifts and the blood coagulates in the veins and then it dissipates. Sharon had a total of five treatments and now maintains with three treatments a year. She says while photofacial is uncomfortable, it's very tolerable. There's soft music playing in the background and Erin, uh, you know, is constantly asking if, if you're uncomfortable. So it, it's not unpleasant at all. Most of our patients all get them because they do treat a lot of different things. And what's so great about the photofacial is it's instant gratification. In addition to treating her rosacea, Sharon loved that the treatment stimulates collagen and elastin for skin tightening. Pretty skin is something that I value. It's the photofacial combined with the medical grade products have um, really contributed, I, I think, to my skin looking clear and smooth, and I'm very pleased. Laguna Beach, California is one of the most picturesque cities in America. Because of its scenic beauty, artists love it. We'll take you there after this. Sunlight is fading And the cold rain sets in When I wake up in the morning it starts all over again Looking for some shelter Don't want to be in the way Hoping that we might meet one fine day If you let me come home Let me come home I'll be your best friend there we meet me wherever you go. If you let me come home, let me come home. I'll be your best friend. They do not have to die, but they do. 25,000 children every day. They die for reasons we can prevent. Like not getting enough food or medicine. Or clean, safe water to drink. They do not have to die. But they do. 25,000 children. 25,000 children. 25,000 children every day. They die because they are young and vulnerable. They die because through no fault of their own, they're poor. They die because they suffer in the shadows. Their pain unseen by the rest of the world. They do not have to die. They don't have to die. But they do. 25,000 children. 25,000 children. Every day. My name is Joel Madden. My name is Mia Farrow. My name is Neil. My name is Lawrence Fishburne, and I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Believe. My name is Lucy Liu, and I believe that number should be zero. 
Believe in Zero. Join the effort. Visit IBelieveInZero.org. Welcome back to our travel segment. Today we take you to one of America's hidden treasures. As you'll see, Laguna Beach is known for its gorgeous views. Located just south of Los Angeles, Laguna Beach is warm year-round. It's not the temperature, but the beauty of the beaches that drew artists here from the beginning. In the early 1900s, artists settled here and shaped the development of the city. They organized festivals and opened art museums. They were drawn to the beaches and the resemblance to the Mediterranean. Theater has also been popular for decades. The Laguna Playhouse is a popular destination and it features award-winning productions year-round. The Seven Degrees Multimedia Center shows the latest technology in art. In addition to art festivals, plays, and scenic beauty, Laguna Beach has world-class golf courses. From family-friendly hotels to posh resorts, you can find all types of accommodations. Laguna Beach also has a family-friendly downtown with two seaside parks. At the city's main beach, there's a children's playground, picnic areas, barbecues, and sand volleyball courts. See the majestic cliffs and white sand beaches that have been a haven for artists for decades. Thanks for joining us for Home and Style. Be sure to visit our website at homeandstyletv.com where you can watch our videos anytime and sign up for our travel giveaway. We'll see you again next week.